Hi there, I want to show you the first step in bringing your course over from Moodle to Canvas. And um, that's going to involve going into your iLearn class and performing a backup. So you're going to want to find the right class and go to that course administration area and click on backup. Now the th most important thing to remember here is do not include the students. So you're going to want to uncheck that enrolled users, first checkbox. Uncheck that and do make sure that activities and resources is checked. So everything else is up to you, um, especially regarding the events or the question bank. Most people are going to want to go ahead and click on that jump to final step. And if you want to pick and choose things, then you can click Next, and you can uh, uncheck some activities. But uh, go ahead and do that backup, and when it finishes, you will see it appear at the top of the list here, so you can go ahead and download it. So that'll download the backup of your Moodle course to, to your computer, and you can see that file that has downloaded. You can confirm that it's there. And You'll need that in a moment on the next step. So we've done that backup. The next step is going to be to go into Canvas and bring up your brand new course. So you're going to want to find your course in Canvas. You can do this um, in any blank course that you have. So if you want to um, use a spring course to practice on, you can do that. And we can always. Um, move it to the right place when the semester starts. So you'll um, click on that um, course checklist. Import content is the first thing on there, so go ahead and do that. And we're going to tell it which type will be a Moodle course is down there in the list, almost at the bottom. And when we tell it that, then we're going to want to go pick out our file that we've downloaded. So you can click on Choose File or just drag it over like I do, and you've picked out your backup that you just created. For content, you're going to want to say All Content, and then you can go ahead and click Import. And again, this one will take a couple of minutes, depending on the size of your course. I've sped it up here, but that will take some time to perform the import and then you will be able to go back to your home or to the modules list and you're going to uh you're going to see all of your material here and you're ready now for the next step which is to kind of clean up and reorganize and do things the canvas way which is a little bit different than the moodle way and I'll talk more about this in the next video but now I'm just showing you um the big list of things in Canvas versus in our Moodle way that we're used to um, we're used to seeing everything here and having some explanation in the big list and in Canvas um, this list is a handy thing but we really want to guide students a little bit more and so I'll be showing you some ways to re reorganize the course and kind of streamline it so that students don't have to think as hard on logistics and just be able to focus on the material of the course. So that'll be the next video. Thank